Uh, shit, I just ended to a new file. So I gotta fucking go and fucking end that other one and fucking post it. But I'll continue. This is part two then. Nick the Pick Rigatoni. That's gonna change. The Nick the, I like Nick the Ice Pick part, but I'm not big on the Rigatoni. That was a, that was a, uh, Rigatoni was a kind of a shout out to my buddy Frank, uh, my Trump loving idiot friend, Frank. I love you, brother. But you're back in the wrong one. Sorry, bro. Uh, fuck Trump. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Frank and I go way back. Frank Frank used to call me the spaghetti bender, I think it was. So so I'm Nick the Ice Pick Rigatoni and a shout out to him because I, I can still fucking be fucking brothers and friends with a guy that I fucking disagree with. You know, I, I we argue. We call each other names. We fucking, you know, I, he fucking calls me fucking moron. He fucking all the time. I call him shit. The fucking guy would fucking pull me out of a fire, though. I know that. Fucking guy let me live in his fucking house for fucking ever. Fucking when I was getting divorced. Jesus fucking Christ. So, yeah. So, yeah, man. I love you, Frank, but, you know, we disagree on this. Well, a couple things, but that big one. So, I'm not going to unfriend you. I'm not going to fucking block you. I'm not going to fucking, you know, cut you out of my life. I'm going to still talk to you. might be a while before I talk. If you piss me off anymore, but I'll still talk to you. And it's not because I'm afraid or I don't want to talk to you. It's because I'm a, I don't want to fucking call you names and shit. So I'll fucking, I'll be nice. We won't talk about Trump. If we do, it'll be just be you're wrong and you can tell me I'm wrong and I can tell you you're wrong and we can trade a couple of fucking insults and we'll be cool. We know where each other's, we know where we stand with each other at that shit. I'm not going to change your mind. You're not going to change my mind. We're both fucking stubborn fucking guineas from New, New Jersey, for Christ's sake. Fuck. <laughs> you might as well fucking bang your head against the wall try to get us to the fucking ever compromise. Yo. Uh, so, yeah, my fire brothers, man, I got to tell you, I, I fucking miss it, man. I fucking miss the firehouse. I miss Station 5. Do not miss Station 1. Ever would I miss Station 1. I even miss some of the fucking guys I didn't get along with. Yeah, you know, I miss Dave Harris. I miss Dave. I miss Mort. Fucking Mort used to bug the shit out of me with his stupid shit. Uh, I fucking miss everybody, man. Fucking, you know, there was a couple guys I didn't get along with. I still miss them. Even the ones I didn't like. There's one. He wasn't a firefighter. I don't think he was ever a firefighter for real. He was the fire chief. Him? Nah. I'd pull his ass up a fire, but then I'd probably throw him in a pile of shit. Fucking rub his face in the mud or something. Just fucking let him know what I thought of him. But other than that, yeah, most of them. I mean, there's a couple I didn't like. There's a couple that, you know, think they were somebody better than me or better than anybody. Forgot who they were, but eh, for the most part. Like Mike Del Bardo, man, that's a fucking rock solid dude. Fucking... Jeff Lutz, fucking good dude. Eddie Okinski, Brian Kalinowski, motherfucking, all them guys. Romeo, fucking shit. I can't even fucking say all that. And you guys know who you are. So, if you can't stand my political opinion, please don't unfriend me. Just call me names when you want. If you, if you have to unfriend me, I'll get over it. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking Abramowitz, fucking Abramowitz, man. Fucking stories I could tell you about scaring the shit out of that guy at 3 in the morning when he's... Fucking guy would get up at 3 in the morning and fucking shave and shit. Fucking, I'd walk in the bathroom, take my 3 and 3.30 a.m. piss, and there'd be B fucking standing in the mirror. I'd go, hey, Z. And he'd jump through the fucking roof, I swear to God. I, th I thought one day he was going to fucking land in the sink. So, I love that job. I miss it. I tell you, I, look, listen, I'm one... You know, you can fucking take it with a grain of salt. One thing I have to say to the guys that are starting out in the fire department, whether you know me or not, um, plan for your retirement. Mostly plan to find a fucking another, another tribe to run with and a hobby. Plan for your money, of course. Everybody needs money. I'm saying if I'm, prepare yourself mentally for that fucking change that comes. Well, one day you're a firefighter and the next thing you know you're retired. It's, it's fucked up. It fucks your head up. Especially if you get forced out like I did. You know. Yeah, I made some mistakes too. With that. But hey. What the fuck. 
Where was I? Oh, I'm going to have to cut it off soon here. So, yeah, you're going to be seeing me do some First Amendment audits. And I, listen, I got family members that are dead set against it. Uh, I got relatives that are, you know, they're going to be fucking blasting me. Unfriend me. Don't, don't fucking watch my shit. I'm not going to stop. I've had enough. I will not, will not be silent anymore. Not that I was ever really silent, but I am going to be loud and clear, loud and loud and clear now. So I will be practicing my first amendment, right? Probably my first amendment rights, probably 24 seven. You're going to have a very little filter. You know, I'll moderate the tone and the fucking vulgarity, but I will not moderate the fucking severity of the message. So, yeah, and I, and I, if I, oh, so, okay, so the auditors, here's what I want. There's one from the community that I, that I support. Um, I just want, I want to get to a thousand subscribers so I can do live streams on YouTube. I'm not looking to make money. <coughs> I don't have the, the energy to put in the, that amount of time. I'll do some audits. My, they're not going to be technically great. They're going to be like this. They'll probably even be vertical for a while until I get a rig. It'll be my phone, and I have a, I have a body cam if I can fucking get the thing to fucking work. Um, like, it's a good body cam, but, like, I bought it, and it didn't come with all the instructions and fucking... They, they, I don't know. They were in Chinese or something. I don't know. They were in Chinese or some fucking shit or German. I fucking couldn't find the English version, so... I don't know. So I got it. It's a good one, too. It's a, it wasn't cheap, so that I won't get that up on. I had a GoPro, GoPro, but I lost that in a camper. Lost a lot of shit in that camper. That's a fucking story. Yeah, so... What am I saying here? I don't know. I'm tired. I've fucking been up for 24 hours. So, I tell you, I you know what? I'm going to start video on my fucking phone calls with police departments. I got through to the Minneapolis Police Department, and, and the officer that I spoke to definitely knows how I feel about a lot of things, about the Floyd, Mr. Floyd being murdered by that cocksucker. Cocksucker murderer. That's what, he's not a cop. He's a cocksucking murderer. Hmm. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to fucking insult cocksuckers. What do, what do I want to fucking call them? I don't know. Murderer, torturer, murderer. Devoid of fucking empathy. So, yeah, I just, I just need subscribers. You, you can subscribe and not look, listen to my, sh or look at my shit. Just fucking, you know, give me a, enough to get me up to do live. Because once I get live streams, I'll feel safer if I can have fucking people watching my back. I've, I've reached out to people. There's nobody out here in Bullhead City that does audits that I can find. You know, I might have to go over to Nevada, but, you know, believe it or not, Bullhead City Police seem to be fucking pretty good about not fucking with people too much. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe Maybe the fact that everybody out here is carrying a gun. I mean, everybody. You see people, you see... 50% of the people open carry. Literally 50% of the people I run into around here are open carry. Or concealed carry where it might as well be open because it's imprinted so well. And then there's a shit ton of people that are concealed carrying um, that you need to, like, look for. I know what to look for when I'm when I'm seeing if people are fucking carrying. You know, I'm no fucking expert at it. But I can pick out probably 7 out of 10 people that are fucking carrying. And if I'm real observant, if I got my fucking... Or, you know, my fucking situational awareness kicked up. I can fucking, you could tell. People, let me tell you something, men especially. Men stand different. They have a different fucking aura about them when they have a fucking gun on them. It's, it's amazing to watch. It's a fucking, I, I wish I knew psychology and could do a study on it. It would be fucking brilliant. So, I don't know. Um, so that's what I want from, from you guys in the community. And fuck, I should have put this shit in the beginning. All right, maybe I'll edit it.